Hello friends and welcome to Techie Check. In this video we are going to discuss about data loss mitigation feature in Exchange Server 2016. Though the Exchange Server 2016 includes a number of features that you can use to mitigate data loss. But this is important like why it is important because when mitigating data loss you do not need to perform a recovery from a backup and typically using these data loss mitigation method before you attempt to perform recovery from a backup is much faster and easier. So you do not need to touch your backup and still you can recover your data. So let's see what are the feature of data loss mitigation. So mitigating a data loss avoids to recover from backups. The first one is deleted item recovery. In earlier version of Exchange, when a user deletes a item, it was still recoverable until the item was purged from the dumpster. And if a user do a hard delete, like if he deletes an item by pressing Shift and Delete, it permanently removes the message from the mailbox. But in Exchange Server 2016, the recoverable item folder replaces the dumpster. And the uh, default retention period for this is 14 days. If you do not modify the default retention time, messages purge from the mailbox database after 14 days and the calendar item purge after 120 days. Our second item is single item recovery. This feature is disabled by default and it needs to be enabled for each mailbox. So when it is not enabled without single item recovery, you can only recover the item that purge from the recoverable item store through a backup of a mailbox database. But when the single item recovery is enabled, all the item in the recovery item store are preserved and cannot be deleted by the user. And our third feature is in place hold. Another option that you can use to recover items from a user's mailbox to enable in place hold. With this feature, all items that delete from a user mailbox are preserved in a recoverable item store and they can be recovered through a e-discovery search on the user's mailbox. And administrator can search and recover held items, though user cannot search or recover the held items. Fourth option is deleted mailbox retention. You can use deleted mailbox retention to recover deleted mailbox and their content. Uh, by default, you can say, uh, the, by default, the Exchange Server 2016 retains the del deleted mailbox for 30 days. So still you have a 30 days to prevent your content of the mailbox. And our fifth option is Database Availability Group. In most scenario, you can use a DAG to recover from a lost server or lost database. When a server or database fails, Exchange 2016 activates a copy of their database automatically on another member of the DAG. This process is much faster than restoring from a backup. When combined with site resilience, a DAG mitigates a loss of an entire data center. And our sixth option is shadow redundancy. In Exchange 2016, the transport server now makes a copy of each message that it receives before it sends an acknowledgement to the sending server that it successfully received the message. If Exchange Server 2016 determines like uh, the original message was lost in transit, the copy of the message is re-delivered. As there are multiple features to mitigate a data loss to avoid the recovery from a backup, does that mean like we do not require a backup? No, still we require a backup. Though after implementing a data loss mitigation and high availability for your mailbox server, you still might encounter some scenario where you require a backup and restore from the data recovery. Let's discuss some of the scenarios like when single item recovery is not enabled and a user hard deletes an item. Now the Exchange Server 2016 removes the item from the database without placing it in a recoverable item folder. What if message recovery after retention period? So recovering a message after the item retention period has passed, even when you enable a single item recovery, Exchange Server only retains deleted item for the specific period. By default, this is 14 days. What if database recovery if there is no DAG? Recovering database when not using a DAG, 
you must recover failed databases from backup when the mailbox server is not a member of a DAG. What if the server is not a member of a DAG? When a mailbox server fails, all the database on that server are lost if the server is not a member of a DAG. In that case, you must recover the server from a backup only. For the compliance reason, like in addition to a data recovery requirement, a common reason can be for the backup is a compliance, like some law requires some organization to maintain archive of email for a period of time and you can use a backup for this purpose as well. So guys, I hope you get the idea of data loss mitigation feature in Exchange Server 2016 and the scenarios that require backup and restore in Exchange Server. If you like the video, please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updates and let's meet in the next video.